Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm feeling super festive with my outfit. I don't know where I got this top. My mom got it for me, but if anybody is truly curious, let me know and I'll ask her. But in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Christmas haul. I have a perfume haul coming up with some things that I've been able to pick up over the past few months. So if you'd rather tune in for that, just know that it's coming. But for now, we're gonna be doing non-perfume. Okay, so let's get started with the self-care, skincare, stuff that you can get at Sephora type of stuff, and then we'll get into the miscellaneous for the people that are interested. Oh, but first, I did ask for these fragrance tester strips because I ran out. Like, I got a whole pack of these. I think it was like 200, and I ended up using them all because of me doing these videos. I would oftentimes use these tester strips, so I asked for some more, and I got some more, so thankfully, like, honestly, you guys, it's been a challenge because I have friends come over and I want them to smell the fragrance. They don't necessarily want to put it on their skin. That's an ordeal. For a video, I could already be wearing a fragrance. I don't want to put it on my skin. I don't like to spray things in the air either because I feel like I can't even smell it in the air. Like, I don't know how people do that, but these are just really good for the content I like to make. So I'm glad that I have some more. I wanted it so badly and I'm so glad I got it. It's such a good deal, you guys. I don't know if it's still on sale. It probably is. But this is the Pharmacy Garden Party Glean, Glean, Green Clean Trio. So I love these scents. They sounded so interesting and they smell pretty good. I feel like I'll get more of an understanding of the scents once I actually use them on my skin. And so the whole thing with this is that it's an amazing deal. So you get 150 mil total for $42. And I think what, I don't know, like I did the math, you guys, and this is just a better deal. Like you're paying less for more product than if you were to actually just get one full size of these cleansing balms. And I have went through an entire full bottle, so I already knew that I liked the formula. This is just amazing because you get to try three different scents, you get a better deal, you get more product. I love it. So this is strawberry basil. And again, it's very, very faint because you know how it is. Like sometimes when you get a new product, you need to actually use it. But I definitely smell it. It's just such a nice, faint scent. And if you guys don't know how cleansing balms work, it's just, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a balm and it emulsifies when you put it on your skin and it turns kind of liquidy. Sometimes it leaves a residue. So it's more of like a double cleanse thing, um, which is really popular in the skincare community. Like using a cleansing balm or an oil first. Um, to just take off your makeup and then going in with just a liquid cleanser to get the last bits off. This is lemon mint, which definitely smells lemony. It's just very fresh. That mint is not too harsh. And then we have peach thyme. So I just love the whole garden vibes, like just all the different herbs and the fruits mixed together. I'm a sucker for that type of marketing, honestly. Like I own not a ton of Glow Recipe products, but I have at least five that I've tried and they just sucker me in with the fruits. Like I love eating fruits. I love the smell of fruits. Just anything that's scented. I don't really have sensitive skin, so I can't speak to that. But I know with Glow Recipe, it's like real fruits. It's not just, I mean, it might be fragranced. But anyway, like I said, I don't, I'm not really sensitive to that. But if you are, you maybe want to take a look at the ingredients. But I know pharmacy is really known for having like clean products. They Again, if this is still on sale and you like the pharmacy cleansing bombs, I really recommend picking it up. Okay, this one I believe is another good deal. I can't remember at the top of my head, but I use Laneige religiously. Like I've been using it. I've repurchased it countless times. It is the only lip balm I use. I cannot stress this enough. Like I don't care if it's overpriced or whatever. Like I just refuse to use anything else because genuinely I can't. I tried using Blistex, Chapstick. I don't know, like Burt's Bees. I cannot use Burt's Bees, seriously. I don't know, like I'm not even trying to be bougie, but this is one of those things that I can't really compromise on. But as soon as I saw this, I knew I needed it because I've been wanting the ginger snap, I was gonna say gingerbread, and the peppermint one. And I just thought this was a better deal. Of course, these are minis, but then you get a full size in addition to it. And you know, the berry one, I've had it before, it's nothing special, but. So the ginger snap smells so good. These are very faint smells, um, which I don't mind. It's just reminiscent of a lip gloss, you know, when you have a lip gloss with a slight vanilla scent. The peppermint is probably my favorite though, it's just so yummy. And I just love peppermint scented things on my lips. It's more like a candy cane in my opinion, candy cane scented. And so this was $30, apparently it's a $39 value. And I'm assuming they did 
the math correctly. You know, sometimes it's like marketing, but I'm pretty sure that would be accurate. So you get to save a little bit of money. That's why I really like some of these holiday sets that Sephora comes out with because they do definitely bring the deals. Okay, another Laneige product, which I never expected to want this or anything, but I got a sample of it. I think it was like for the birthday gift last year or something, or maybe it was this year. Honestly, the years are fading for me. This is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream, and this is like the perfect daytime moisturizer. I mean, I'm not super picky on that. Like I literally use nighttime creams in the daytime. I use daytime creams at night, like just whatever I can get my hands on, honestly. But this is just perfect. Like it's just amazing. I don't know. I love it right before my makeup. It just really hydrates. It's like lightweight, but it's still nourishing. Like I don't like those moisturizers where it's just super thin and gel-like, and then it just kind of dries on your skin. It feels really weird. I mean, obviously it's gonna dry on your skin, but I don't know how to explain it. Like this genuinely makes my skin feel supple and I used up my whole sample and I just really, really loved it. Like I'm not the type to ask for a moisturizer for Christmas. Cause I don't know, I just feel like there's so many affordable moisturizers. I really like the ordinary one. That one is more along the lines of what I was saying where it's like a thinner moisturizer. It's not as nourishing. Um, but it, it does the job, you know, like, especially if you use it in a company with an oil from the ordinary, like you'll be fine. A bit overpriced. I believe my mom got it during the VIB sale. So I probably wouldn't pay full price for it, but it's up to you. Okay. I asked for a beauty blender because I just always need a new one of these. Like, yes, you can wash it however many times, but I feel like there does come a point when your beauty blender is just done for. And I'm not there yet with my current beauty blender, but this is just something that I definitely want to ask for during the holidays. But honestly, I feel like nothing really compares to the beauty blender. I like brushes. I've even used foundation with my fingers. Like I would rather do that than use the Real Technique sponge, to be honest. That's just my opinion. A lot of people love it, but just for me, it's never really compared. I also don't like the Morphe sponge. Um, something about this just has the right, I don't even know if buoyancy is the word. That's probably not the word at all but it has the right bounce and it just makes my foundation look flawless every time. So I know that I can depend on it. And again, with the VIB sale, it takes it down a few dollars. Okay, I probably should have started with this because this is the most exciting to me. I don't know, but this is from Glazish, which is an Etsy shop. I got two cents. I got frosted animal cookies and I got marshmallow fluff. I do think the packaging, I don't know, you guys can see right there. You know, obviously, I think these are handmade. I'm not sure. It's a small business, so I'm sure they don't have a big factory or something like that. But, you know, that's something I did notice, but not a big deal at all, really. Anyway, these are whipped body glazes. So for some reason, I think I knew that, but I also just assumed it would be a body butter. But it definitely is more of a glaze. So if you can imagine what glaze on a cake would look like, it's very much that. It's very much more on the oily side and I think I can get into it. I think I can get into it, but I just, I, I don't know yet. Um, I did test it on my hand and like I said, it was very kind of oily and different from anything else I've tried. So that's something that I'll say about it is that it's unlike any product that I've tried from Bath & Body Works, from Victoria's Secret, like it's its own thing. So I think that that's really good if you're, you're like, what's the incentive? Like, why would I just buy a lotion from this brand when I already have lotions? This is definitely, a different beast. So anyway, marshmallow fluff. It definitely smells like marshmallows. It's kind of like, okay, I was about to say marshmallow fluff, which is literally the name, but you know, that marshmallow dip or whatever, like I would make peanut butter and marshmallow fluff sandwiches. So it literally smells like that kind of, and you can see it's kind of like this whipped cream consistency, but it's pretty solid. I don't know why that's not what I expected. I thought that it would be more fluffy and literally feel like whipped cream, but it is a solid. I normally always put lotion on, but today I was just kind of in a rush. Um, so let me try putting this on my elbow actually, because my elbow is so ashy like at all times and just see. And you guys can immediately see kind of the... Okay, so I'm gonna have to play with those a little bit more. Um, if you guys see them in a future favorites video, then you know that I've been using them and love them. I'm definitely gonna use them. Like they smell amazing and the consistency is pretty good. Um, I kind of want to repurchase because they have so many other interesting scents I just chose 
two that I feel like I would love the most. So here's Frosted Animal Cookies. And to me, this is very chocolatey, like for real. Okay, maybe I need to open up a bag of those Frosted Animal Cookies. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it literally kind of looks like that. They're shaped like little horses and stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about, the circus animals. Yes, they're amazing. I love them. And I don't know what I was expecting, but it smells like cookie dough to me or like, which, you know, it's cookies, but... They didn't exactly nail it, I'll be honest. I do like the consistency, even though it's solid, it's just like such a fun consistency. So I'm gonna put this on my neck. I don't have anything on my neck at the moment. It feels really good going on. Like it's not stiff, it just kind of glides on the skin really nicely. Still smells like chocolate. I'm not a fan of that. Like I don't like how it smells like chocolate, um, but what can you do? Okay, now we're moving on to fashion stuff. So if you guys aren't interested in that, then I will catch you guys in my next video. But let's just talk about this real quick because I got these for my mom because she literally picked them out. She saw a couple ads for Shein on Facebook. <laughs> I don't know, she's such a Facebook mom. And she screenshotted a bunch of stuff to me and sent it to me and said, I want these. And I was like, okay, so this was one of the things, but she didn't expect it to be cropped, which I totally feel her on that because I hate... I don't know, like things look a certain way online and then they're actually cropped. So this is like this tan. The texture is pretty nice. Um, actually, that was a blush. And then there's this one. They're just kind of like loungewear, pajamas type. This is like a burnt orange sienna. It's a three piece. They're all the exact same. So it's like a crop long sleeve and then the shorts. And I actually love these types of shorts for sleeping or lounging around. I did not do this on purpose, but she was not messing with the cropped she was like i cannot wear this and i was like well you picked it out so that's unfortunate but she got a lot of other things from sheen it wasn't just this so i'm gonna keep the moral of the story so in addition to wearing those types of shorts a lot i always wear t-shirts and my mom makes fun of me for it because i just don't have cute pajamas like i have some and she always buys me my cute pajamas but i don't know it's just something that I don't have a lot of, so she decided to get me, well, pajamas slash loungewear. So I know it's kind of like, I don't know. This is maybe not something I would pick up for myself, but it's totally cute. Like I don't see a problem with this, especially if I'm lounging at home. They look super comfortable. These are just some pants, I guess joggers, and then a long sleeve to go with it. And this is from this brand called Ace Shin. I've never heard of it, but okay, now onto the shoes. I got some white Crocs. I was never, okay, I used to have Crocs back in the day. I used to bling them up all the time. I was obsessed. Like back in the day, I'm talking about when I was like 12, maybe. I don't know, having them, obviously I grew out of them, threw them away. And then when Crocs started making an appearance back into fashion, or I don't know if you would even call it fashion, but just in people's everyday clothes, I was just kind of like, why? I was so weirded out by it. But I don't know, I'm definitely one of those people, like I hop on the bandwagons, especially with fashion. Like I don't know the first thing about fashion. I'm not a trendsetter, like I follow what the whole crew is or what everybody else is doing so like it got to the point where these just became so oversaturated that i felt like i had to join in you know like i said i'm a copycat when it comes to fashion so i have so many white shoes i was like should i just get the black shoes like i don't know should i get a color but i knew like white is just gonna go with everything for example it goes perfectly with my outfit today i don't know i'm very picky about the charms i might not even get charms i know that's kind of crazy like why would you not get charms for your crocs i think i will what are they called bigots not bigots i cannot fibbits what are they called the way i don't even know like this is how blind i go into things but anyway like gibbets gibbets oh my god i need to get gibbets but again i'm picky like i don't want something corny i don't want like a louis vuitton gibbet like i want something cute and for it to reflect my personality. So I don't know, I'm probably gonna think about it. I'm gonna try and rush past this very end of my video, but Devora, she's friends with Claudia and Brandon and like the Walsh family. And she's just so hot and like I follow her and I'm obsessed with her. And so she said that these are her favorite sneakers. So I needed new white sneakers to work out in and for athleisure. And so I decided to get Devora's favorite sneakers, the Horaches. The, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say it, but this is a size nine in women's, but it's just low key not fitting. Like I'm gonna have to get a nine and a half or a 10. And look how tiny these look, you guys. Like they literally look like a seven or something. They did fit, but it was like, again, my foot was busting out of the seams basically. Not really, but they were just a little too tight for comfort. So I am probably going to exchange these ASAP. So that way, you know, I feel comfortable. I don't wanna 
I don't want to wear shoes I'm uncomfortable in. And my mom surprised me by getting these boots and I really like them. I don't have any taupe or like brown shoes or boots I mean. I have these black boots that I wear all the time and I love them but I've been kind of like wearing them too much so these are definitely you know, a good change of pace. So I think that is all for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next one. Thank you, bye.